OK, obviously news broke last night that Sergio Ramos is to leave uh, Real Madrid this summer. Now, no real mention of retirement, so I'm assuming he's, he's going to play on. Uh, he could play in the MLS, he, he could play in China, in the Chinese Super League. Um, most likely the MLS, just, just for the fact that you know that will be a massive coup for the MLS, uh, getting a player of his level and prestige. Uh, and that league is growing rapidly, and while it's not the same quality and the same level, uh, as, as the European leagues. It's still a fun watch, and that would definitely help grow the game in North America. Uh, a press conference is due to be uh, held later today by Sergio Ramos um, at the Bernabeu, which will lay out you know, what's going to happen. There's still a possibility he may retire. Obviously, he was omitted from the Spain squad for Euro 2020. Um, obviously, there's also, bearing in mind in the last few months, we've obviously had the European Super League fiasco and the build-up to Euro 2020. Could that have had some impact on his decision to leave Real Madrid at the end of this year and not renew his contract, because we do know that Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus still have not officially withdrawn from that project, and UEFA have said that they will punish the European Super League clubs that remain in the project, so whether that's further fines or expulsion from Champions League and Europa League uh, play. Now, that could have a bearing on his thinking that he wants to play, obviously, European football, uh, club football, um... He may go to another club in Europe. We just don't know what's going to happen. But 16 years, a lot of major trophies in there. Um, you know, he wasn't always a Real Madrid player. Let's remember that. He didn't start his career at Real Madrid. But he's made his name at Real Madrid. Uh, could you name him as one of the best defenders of all time? Uh, or, or did he just play in like a very talented squad at that time? A very dominant squad in the last 16 years. Um he joined at the time of the Galacticos era, where they uh, uh, had many star players and couldn't deliver on the field. And then they turned into the, the juggernaut that they were again, because they always were a juggernaut, but they cemented that juggernaut status since his time at the club. But there's been a lot of failed seasons there as well, where they haven't achieved what they could have achieved with all the players at their disposal. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where he ends up, if he decides to play on, if he decides to retire. Um... But it is interesting timing, considering that obviously in the midst of Euro 2020, omitted from the Spain squad and the European Super League fiasco, they're still rumbling on. We just haven't heard any news what's going to happen, but Florentino Perez is, is driving forward this idea. Everyone else is not really interested in the idea anymore. Um, but the news has gone quiet on the European Super League. Does, does that have an impact? Because I do believe players did uh, voice their concerns uh, during the whole European Super League and how unhappy they were at lack of consultation and uh, their views upon it um, with the possibility of being banned from representing at World Cups and Euros. Could that have a bearing on, on uh, his decision if there is further punishment for Real Madrid? But we'll see what happens. Um, interesting player, divisive figure, but we'll see what happens and we'll see where he ends up. A statement is due at some point today from his camp about where he's planning to go next. Now, there's been no mention of any clubs interested in Sergio Ramos, uh, not even from the MLS, although it is a possibility he could end up in the MLS as a marquee signing, uh, possibly at Inter Miami with former teammate David Beckham, obviously the owner of that team. That is a possibility, but that is, again, pure speculation because no club has been linked with Sergio Ramos. He, he may go into retirement and go into coaching. We just don't know what his plans are, but we'll wait and see. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts below and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.